Andrei Vasilevsky, you little rascal! Well, not little rascal, I guess. I mean, the dude is like 6'4", 220. What's up, Caps fans? Ah, an undeserved loss. Let's be honest. Um, the Caps played pretty damn great. They certainly deserved a better fate tonight as they lose in the shootout. But nevertheless, another good standings point earned against a good team in Tampa Bay. Kind of just a bad luck loss for the Caps, honestly. Like, the Caps were pretty freaking dominant in this hockey game, um, out shooting the Lightning by a 34 to 20 count. And honestly, that doesn't even tell enough of the story here, okay? Um, like, the puck possession and the scoring chances were even more heavily in favor of the Washington Capitals. They played keep away from the Bolts for much of the night and peppered Andre Vasilevsky with high danger chances. But alas, this one was not meant to be. There is a reason that goaltender has two Stanley Cups. And as a goalie myself, full disclosure, okay? Full disclosure. I love watching Andre Vasilevsky play hockey, okay? Full disclosure there from me for you guys. Just so you know, I love Andre Vasilevsky. Uh, I love watching him play. Um, but as an opposition fan, it is so annoying how good he is. So, a few things happened in this game. First, the penalty kill was once again phenomenal for the Washington Capitals. The Tampa Bay Lightning power play has been clicking at over 30% efficiency for the season so far. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. That makes me sick to my stomach to think about, okay? Um, and yet, the Caps penalty killers gave them nothing. And the defense as a whole for the Washington Capitals. Unbelievable job. They have been so fucking good this season. Oh my goodness. Um, and I'm not just talking about the defensemen, but also like the forwards playing defense, you know, coming back and helping out. Um, just the total team defense as a whole has been phenomenal. And tonight, the Tampa Bay Lightning, okay? The Tampa Bay Lightning are the highest scoring team in the Eastern Conference this season, okay? And yet, your Washington Capitals, my Washington Capitals too, our Washington Capitals, they did not give them anything, anything, nothing. They gave them nothing, not even a sniff. They limited the high-powered bolts to just 18 shots through 60 minutes. The Bolts power play, like I said, you know, it's over 30% efficiency this season. The Caps gave them nothing. The only goal that the Bolts scored in the game was a lucky one that bounced off of a body. The Tampa Bay Lightning scored zero goals that they actually put into the net with their sticks tonight. And on the flip side for the Caps, anything resembling puck luck is still out of the question apparently, okay? Um, it continues, the puck luck does, uh, to elude them as they hit a couple more posts and crossbars in this one tonight. And they had another goal called back again as well, which I will get to. But first, Anthony Mantha's got another one. A sick deflection of a Nick Jensen point shot. Mantha's 10th goal of the season, assisted by Jensen and Alexei Protas. And I don't want to be dramatic, but folks, Alexei Protas, okay, he is turning into a full-blown beast right in front of our very eyes. He is the next Tage Thompson. You mark it down. Protoss has finally realized that he is the biggest dude out on that ice almost every single night. It might be every single night. Is he the biggest guy in the league? He might be. Um, but yeah, he has finally realized it, you know, that he is literally the biggest guy out there and that he can just flat out bully people to win pucks all over the ice. And that is what he is doing now. Props to Captain Alex Ovechkin as well, uh, who Protoss credited with talking to him before this season and telling him like, hey, kid, you're fucking huge, man. Use it. 
And if there's anyone who would know a thing or two about using their physical beastliness um, to help get shit done on the ice, it would be Alex Ovechkin. So that is good advice from a good source. And the wheels on Alexei Protas for a dude who is six foot six and 225 pounds. My God, my God. It is like a Mack truck going 200 miles an hour. And Alexei Protas leads the caps in even strength points this season, by the way. Just an absolute stud. What a find there for the caps in the third freaking round, man. What a draft pick. And the Caps would also actually score another goal to make it two to one, another beautiful goal. Um, but it would be called back after a coach's challenge for offside. Very questionable call there. I mean, I think you could pretty easily argue that Edmondson had control of that puck. And that would have been another assist for Alexei Protas, by the way, as well as for Connor McMichael. Another one for him as well. Uh, what could have been? Um, another bang-bang play by those two guys, though. Like, how fucking phenomenal have these two kids been? But the would-be winning goal for the Caps does get called back, like I said. Uh, and so we would go to overtime and eventually to the shootout. The shootout where Evgeny Kuznetsov would perform the Kuzi crawl once again, uh, and he would score with it once again, uh, beating Andre Vasilevsky on the first shot of the shootout to put the Caps up one to nothing. Unfortunately, though, that is the only goal that the Caps would score in the shootout. Uh, the Bolts would get two, um, their last one, the eventual game winner, uh, unfortunately going I believe it was post and crossbar and then in. Which is ironic given the posts and crossbars that the Caps hit during regulation. But it's okay, we still do get the one standings point. Um, heading into the Christmas break, that is it for this one, babes. Uh, I wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, you know, any, any and all that you celebrate, you know. I don't want to miss anyone, so I'll just say Happy Holidays, I guess. Um, but yeah, Happy Holidays to everyone. Thank you all so much for watching um, and for watching all of these videos in general. Um, the response has been really, really good, uh, both to the videos and to the podcast as well. Um, I am going to try to get a podcast episode done over the holidays here, so I will try to get that up as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for your continued interest, your continued support. Um, love chatting with you guys. And like I said, you know, enjoy your holiday. Um, take a bit of a break, you know, let the, let the blood pressure come down from these, from these cardiac capitals games. Uh, a lot of them have been going to overtime lately, so we probably need a bit of a break, or at least our bodies probably need a little of a, a little bit of a break rather. Um, so we'll pick it back up after the holidays and hopefully keep this right on rolling here as the Washington Capitals, you know, they had won three straight before this one. They get a point here, so they have at least a point now um, in all four of their most recent four games, 3-0-1. Oh, so uh, that is very good. That's the good news. We hope to keep that rolling. We hope to get some guys back from some injuries as well after this holiday break. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm talking too much now, so I'm going to let you go. Um, until next time, babes. And as always, let's go Caps.